um, or perhaps simply grafting on some sort of a trigger finger or something or uh, maybe making it so that they could uh, shoot it with their mouth because horses are pretty good like that some sort of a combination of bit or something that it could bite down on with a and uh, maybe that would work you know or maybe we could simply uh, bioengineer uh, some sort of a, a cyborg uh, pony gun that's part pony and part gun um, you know some sort of gatling guns on the ponies or, or pony based rocket launchers or things of that nation uh, of that nature to keep our nation strong uh, because I believe in a very strong defense and the best defense is a strong offense and what could be a better offense than uh, pony drones <laughs> so, you. your, your, your fellow Libertarian candidate, ben, Dan Berman, has criticized your foreign policy position, uh, saying that the zombie-powered tanks is not a practical way to fight Narnia when they inevitably invade the United States. What do you say to that? I say that uh, Narnia will never be allowed to invade the United States, number one. Not on my watch. Because I know where that wardrobe is, I know where that interdimensional portal is, I know that those lions and witches are indeed a direct threat to our democracy, and I will, uh, I believe, on a, a first strike, uh, uh, as George Bush taught us, uh, a pre preemptive first strike is a very important thing in foreign policy, and I hope to use that on the uh, on Narnia. We will be invading Narnia. We will be sending in the pony drones. Um, and right, yes, right. we will not. We, we will continue. We will not stop there. We will continue to till Middle Earth, and we will not stop until the last orc is dead. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Arvid Bohr is on the live stream, and he wants to know about your mandatory dentistry policy. And he says that that is not libertarian. Mandatory anything is not libertarian. What do you say to that? Arvin, first let me pull all your teeth. Then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about his uh, mandatory voting uh, No, no, no. We, we, will, we will not. Thanks for stopping by, Arvin. But no, we're not going there. If you want to have sex with underage ponies, that's your business. Just don't let me catch you, or there will be hell to pay. <laughs> Anyone else? He, he would like his photograph. Oh, right? absolutely. Absolutely, Tom. Big, big fan. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, everybody here got their stickers? Everybody's got a sticker? Okay, good. Cool. And uh, once again, of course, last chance to join the uh, New Hampshire Libertarian Party today. Come on, 10 bucks. Uh, we'll give you a prize or something. It'll be a premium for it. Uh, once again, uh, you, those of you at home, uh, if you're in New Hampshire, please uh, go to nhlp.org. Join the New Hampshire Libertarian Party. Today is the last day uh, to sign up in time to take part in their primary, uh, mail-in primary, where you'll be able to get to vote for me, uh, Vermin Supreme, from the internet. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, it was one. Mr. Supreme, how dare you? Very easily. <laughs> Very I dare well. Is it true that, that uh, you. your target op teams are actually working on weaponizing pony shit? Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's pretty low low tech technology. It's just catapults full of pony poop. <laughs> <laughs> and what of uh, Elizabeth Warren challenging you on your position about the interstate roller coasters? I don't know if it was much as a, a challenge as a, as a complete dodge. I, I, I think it's a great infrastructure project. Uh, she didn't seem to have a comment. Once again, Liz Warren, if you're watching, I don't know what you're so afraid of, why you would not have a selfie taken with me, Vermin Supreme, because that's just the way to do it if you're running for president here in America, especially New Hampshire. The people of New Hampshire will not forgive. They will not forget. They are as petty and, uh, and vindictive as me, because I am a very petty and vindictive man, and I will not let go of such a snub as Elizabeth Warren telling me, through the state troopers no less, that she was not interested in having a selfie taken with me. Did you hear about that, Tom? Crazy, huh? How does that make you feel? I just listened. <laughs> well, myself, I, of course I wasn't deeply offended, but I'll pretend I was. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren's on the live stream right now, and she's saying that the interstate roller coaster system is bullshit. No, it's pony shit. It will be fueled by pony poop. I'm sorry, that's just a fact. There is no bullshit in the Supreme Administration. There is no bullshit in my campaign. It is all pony poop, and don't you forget it. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you got that right. Poop. Kids love it when you say poop. <laughs> Kids love scatological humor, it's just the thing. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> and, and funny, some kids never grow out of it. Poop, 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 poop. Dad, you have a shoe on your head. I do have a shoe on my head. <laughs> Back. <laughs> you have a shoe on your head. Yeah, we've established it. You have shoes on your feet. <laughs> you have two shoes on your feet. I only have one boot on my head. Got you there. The horse is wearing shoes too. The horse has horseshoes. True.